Hi everybody, this is Ionis, and this is me playing a video game. Um, I noticed recently that I have subscribers, even though I haven't uploaded a video in, oh, what is it, like two years now? I don't know exactly. Um, so I decided, you know what, I've got subscribers, so obviously there are people interested in me making videos, so let's make a video. Um, this is uh, one of my favorite Nintendo games, the original NES. It's called Power Blade. It's made by Taito. Um, basically, the premise is, is this city in the future is being run by a computer. The computer goes kablooey. So they ask this guy Nova, who like destroys things with boomerangs, to uh, go around and get all the different areas taken care of so you can to get the tapes that allow you to access the master computer building go in and get rid of the master computer so that it's not you know killing people and bring peace to the world and whatnot so I have to go to each of the different sectors find the person with the ID card that gives me access to the guardian room um, go into the guardian room kill the guardian find the computer, hack the computer, get the tape, and so on. Okay, so let's go ahead and just get started. So, like I said, boomerang. So, this game was actually made um, by Taito because of Capcom making the uh, Mega Man game. Um, there's a few similarities, like there's the stage select thing and the boss thing after you've killed everybody else thing. Um, but uh, other than that, there's not a lot of similarities. For example, in this game, you can duck. Uh, you can shoot in more ways than one. You know, I can shoot up, for instance. Uh, this thing has power-ups that you can get, but there's no, like, weapon, eh, enemy-based boss-based weapons, you know, like... If you defeat Cutman, then you get the Cut Blade Mega Man weapon thing, and that just doesn't happen in this. There's exactly two weapons in this game. The normal boomerang thing and the Power Blade suit, which we'll, we'll see in a little bit. Right now, I'm just getting all the upgrades I can. I uh, want to get my guy maxed out. Um, there's three kinds of upgrades. There's one for damage, which I've already maxed out. That's why my boomerang is red. There's how many I can throw at once, which is maxed out just now when I grab that third uh, boomerang icon thingy. So now I can have three boomerangs in the air at once. Uh, and then there's the distance one, which is reflected on that power meter up there. You notice it goes down every time I throw a boomerang. And it's maxed out, so that means that I can throw a boomerang across half the screen. I can also get hit, because I'm just not doing very good. So, admittedly, it has been a while since I played this game. I mean, this was back when I was a kid and I had an NES. You know, somewhere around the 90s, obviously. It's 2014 now, so that's what? At least 20 years? I'm pretty sure I got this the, the year it came out. By the way, everyone that cares, that was the only woman in this entire game. I'm not joking. That was Token Minority you just saw. So, we've got all the power-ups, we found the ID card, let's go get a power blade suit and kick the boss's butt.
Oh, look at that. It's a power plate suit. Oh. And that thing decided to give me a hamburger. Oh, um, beyond the things, there's two other power up. Uh, well, two other things you can item drops besides the power ups. Um, there's grenades, which when I use them, cause damage to everything on screen. I don't really use them very often. And then the other thing is, uh, the other item, when you use it, will cause you to completely refill your health. Your causes your health to be completely refilled. Uh, they're both here. Uh, you push select to make them happen. So you have to choose between which one you want, but considering it's, yeah, it's so hard to push the pause button, it's not a big deal. This game does have some fairly interesting enemies. I mean, it's got, you know, some fairly stock, boring guys, too, but... You'll see what I mean later on. Crazy heads and jump and caterpillars. Oh, um, so yeah, in case you hadn't realized already, this right here is the Power Blade suit. It, um, you get three hits. If you get hit three times, you lose it. You go back to normal plain dude with boomerang tossing. Um, but no, the boomerang suit makes this game a whole heck of a lot easier. Specifically because it goes through walls, and the, bl and the, the Power Blade is huge. It's as tall as I am. And I got hit. So, I, was, I didn't do that on purpose, but as you can see, now that I've been hit, only one of those ball, those boxes up there is is actually lit up. I have two more... Two more that I can lose until... before I lose my suit. But, I don't really need to worry about it. This guy's easy as all heck. Oops. Oh, come on. Really? Learn to jump, dude. Seriously, learn to jump. Now, if I wasn't wearing the Pure Blade suit, I couldn't actually do that. That would actually have been much harder. Um, specifically because the boomerang wouldn't have hit him with me crouching up there. So, we beat Tall Jumping Guy. Um, and now we've hacked the computer that he was guarding. And now it's time to go to a next sector. So here's... This is a boat, apparently, based on the overworld view. I actually never noticed that before just now. I used to play this game all the time. This one actually has one of the more annoying layouts, specifically because the ID card guy is directly below the door that I, you need to go to, but I have to make this huge round trip to get back up there. Because even though it's very easy to get to the ID card guy from the door, you cannot get up to the door from where the ID card guy is. It's just, I find that horrendously annoying. It's the ladder to get up to the door. I'm not taking it though. I'm going this way instead. Specifically because I want to refill my power blade too. Really? Ah, well, that was a pointless waste of time, wasn't it? Whatever. 
I also wanted to get one of these guys. I don't know what any of these things are called, like, officially. Like, soldier fuck. Bullet. Bill. Shooter. Thingamajigger. Agent 5. Ah, X. No. But, I also don't really care what most of these things are named. And back down here again. Really? Ah. Okay, we'll grab the other one. So in every level, there's two places. There's two um, power suits, power blade suits. Um, they don't drop out of bad guys at all, ever. And they don't respawn unless you continue or you beat a level. So, like, if I defeat one of the bosses, then all of the power suits in all of the levels reappear. But, yeah. Once you grab them, unless you die so much that you have to continue, or you defeat a boss, they don't respawn, like, ever. Um, and the uh, health refiller items, there's one of those in each sector. And as far as I know, they don't ever respawn no matter what. No, oh, no, it was this ladder. Right? Yes. Okay. So we're going to get this other power suit because... I made a huge mistake the first time. And allowed myself to get hit a lot. So, here's hoping I'll get hit a lot this time. about it. In any case. So here we go. Making our way up to boss five. Who if I remember correctly what is this boss do? Oh yeah, this is a uh, teleporting spiky fart guy, really annoying dude. He's not difficult at all, in my opinion. Um, his attack pattern is really, really, really simplistic. Then again, all of these guys are very simplistic in their attack fighter. Yeah, that's all he does. That's his entire attack part. The only difference is where he suddenly appears from. Oops, I got hit. Oh well. Four to go. And this one I think is Mr. Thunder Lightning Strikey Guy. Like I said, I don't know if these guys even have official names. I mean, this was the NES era, sure, I'm sure they do, because frick, everything had names in the NES era. I mean, everything. But I don't know what they are. I never really bothered to find out. 
If you know and you care, you know, feel free to say so in the comments. You know. And I will pretend to care for long enough to read the post. Maybe. If I feel like it. What are these little drone copter things coming out of that Pac-Man hangar? I don't know. And I got hit. Wow, that's awesome. It's alright, I'm not worried about it. There's a... Really? God, I suck. I really do not understand why this guy is hanging out in a freezer. Not even wearing a jacket. Eh, whatever. Yeah. I was getting impatient. I think the music is pretty decent for the NES game, too. And you might disagree, you might think this is the worst music ever, but... Your opinion doesn't matter when I'm the one playing the game. Oh, ha, ha, ha. No, I'm just... <laughs> I don't know. Um... Yeah, I just... Uh... I'm not very good at the whole thinking of what to say at this point right now, apparently. Except to say, like, having the power blade suit is so wonderful. It makes everything so much easier. Because of that going through walls thing, it's great. Oh, and the it being ginormous, that that that's also helpful too. Like the area of that this that the power blade encompasses when you fire it out is just great cuz it's as big as me look how easy it makes everything it's just da 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 da, -da. felt like it. Like that guy? That, I, I'm not sure if he's an octopus or a gorilla. He kind of looks like a weird cross between both. That guy would be would have been a lot more difficult if it weren't for the, for the ladder or the through wall shooting ability of this guy. Oh, I missed my jump. This is what I get for dancing. Oh well, I can probably still make it. 
Yeeha! I'm actually doing fairly good this... Whoa! Hello! Alrighty, time to defeat Mr. Thunderpants. That was easy. That was horrendously easy. Alright, so three down, three to go. To be completely honest, usually when I fight Mr. Thunderman, I let myself get hit because I don't care enough. And this time, he just, he was that horrible. He couldn't even hit me when I wasn't even bothering to try. Oh well. In case anyone was wondering, no, this is definitely not a Nintendo hard game. <laughs> Although I am thinking maybe I should have started in expert instead of normal. I mean, I, I decided to go with normal because it's been so long since I've played this game, but... Considering how well I'm doing, I'm just like, maybe I should have been an expert instead, just so it'd be a little bit more of a challenge. Eh. Either way, I still really like this game. Like, seriously, is that a... Is that a, an ape or an octopus or... What the heck is that thing? I'm going... I'm, I'm going with an ape... Uh, an apetopus. That's what it is. It's an apetopus. <laughs> that spits bowling balls at you, because why the heck not? Jumps. I haven't gotten spanked by any surprise creatures. I did nearly die just there, but yeah. Now oh, and then I get hit. Of course. This is what I get for gloating about how awesome I am. I stop being awesome. Eh. One hit the entire freaking stage is not. Okay, that's, that's not that bad. Zero hoods would be better, but yeah, whatever. Plus, this is the bees, who cares? Bees are just... Would you like to be more easy, please? Mm, that one's done. I 
I don't understand why it has these pipes over here. Because it does, it has those three pipes. It just does not make sense to me why they, they would even wire these pipes here, seriously. But whatever. Oh, and that would not have been much more difficult if I had been not in the power suit. A little bit more because, you know, the, the boomerang is actually... I can't throw two that go all the way across the screen at one, at this, in, in succession. Like, the second one only makes it about halfway, whereas with the power blade, it's always all the way across. All the way across. Every single time, no matter how many I throw. Oh, wait. Never mind. It only goes three quarters of the way across the screen before it quits. Except for the first one. But either way, it's it doesn't get any shorter than that. Crazy head! I got hit again. Oh well. Hey, look! We found the dude! Who takes too long to talk, just like everyone else. Alrighty. Ah, curiosity. Oh, I do have three of them. I care about. You know what? Just for the heck of it, let's go get the power play suit. Okay, so this is actually going to require a little bit of concentration. Not quite yet. This one is going to require a bit of concentration because I have to be very careful. I don't want to not get hit. There we go. I have to jump high enough to make it across the gap, but low enough that I don't get my hitbox entangled with this thing's hitbox. there. Time to defeat the most difficult of all six of the bosses. Dragon Bastard. I'm not even trying to not get hit by that guy because not getting hit by that guy is pretty much impossible. I mean, 
even knowing exactly how he had to, and he was actually kind of boring that time around. All he did was shoot his freaking fireballs. He didn't do his spinny thing or anything. Eh, whatever. Point is, I. Even if, even if you know exactly how he attacks, it's almost impossible to not get hit by them. He doesn't advertise at all. Um, really? Oh my god, I cannot believe I just did that. Wow, that was, that was horrendously awful. Oh well. What was I thinking? Oh yeah, he doesn't advertise at all, so even if you know what his attacks are, you can't tell which one he's going to do. They're just... that guy disappeared. He just kind of does them. And I think he only has three attacks. Like, he's got the fireball breathing thing that you saw, and then he's also got... Um... A jumping, he turns into a ball like freaking Samusaran, and he either rolls across the bottom of the screen or he kind of does a little jumpy move. Ah! Stupid homing bullets. But even if you can tell that he's. Uh, even if you can tell that he's about to jump up into the air, or, or even when you see him roll into a bar, it's a ball, it's impossible to tell if he's gonna, you know, it's pretty much impossible to not get hit by that guy at least once or twice, so I don't even bother. Oh, I got it! Ha ha ha! That was very dangerous, by the way. It's actually really easy to miss that jump and just die. <laughs> this one, however, is not that difficult. Alright, and... Whoa! Jerk! Didn't even give me a... Let that guy hit me. Well, at least he gave me a hamburger to make it up to me. Still kind of want another hamburger, though. hit again. Wonderful. Okay. Spaceman Spiff is about to get a beat down. to the world again. Woohoo. Nice thing is I don't have to get an ID card first for this one. I just need to find the door.
So, kind of just waiting for Crazy Head to finish talking to us. I can't skip this. Yes, yes, we know. Fatal. Fatal to you, not to me, but thanks for trying. I actually... I, wow, am I just letting myself get hit a lot right now. Really? Come on now. What's over here? I think there's a power blade suit over here. I was right, there is a power blade suit over here. Woohoo! Since I lost my last one fighting frickin' Spaceman Spiff, that's useful. Come on. Hamburger. Give me hamburger. I want to have food. Give me the food. Give me the food. Give me the food. Give me the food. Come on, I've got two health points to recharge. Give me the... Fine, whatever. I don't care. Stupid, bouncy bastard. Done throwing those stupid balls yet? Come on, man. Freaking crazy head. Woohoo! Haha, <laughs> you can't hit me. We're getting there. Another crazy head. Ah. I really hate those things. Hey, sweet! That guy was nice enough to. Waha! Stop throwing balls at me. There we go. Can't jump high enough. Yep, there's the door. Missed. Ah, okay, you know what? Screw it. Just get yourself killed. See if the grenades have any effect on this guy. Come on. Nope. Ow. Beat the bad guys. Alrighty, so that was Power Blade, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed watching. 
Uh, let me know if you'd like me to continue doing Let's Plays. Um, if you have any uh, specific games that you'd like me to do a Let's Play of. Um, heck, anything you want to put into the comments, really. But, yeah. Um, so... Yeah, if you would like to see me do Let's Plays of any other games, let me know. If I have the game, then I will be more than happy to attempt to play it. Um, anyway, that's the end of this one. Um, I decided not to split this off because, I mean, really, it's just this. Um, but other Let's Plays that I'll do, I'm going to try and keep between 30-45 minutes long. Uh, this one I'm pretty sure is going over quite a lot, but in any case, have fun and uh, enjoy yourselves.